Hey, it's Jenna with the Arkansas CW. We're still here at Bentonville Film Festival this week. I'm here with writer and director Marie and producer, co-producer Jason for Flip the Record. Guys, welcome to Bentonville. How's it treating you so far? It's my first time in the Midwest and it's been amazing. First time down here, yeah. wow. And uh, yeah. Yeah, and I mean, we're loving the festival. Everything's been so much fun and great films. So. so tell me a little bit about the film that you have. We have a short film, and it's called Flip the Record, and it's, um, it's, a, it's based in 1984 about this young Filipino-American girl who's kind of bullied by her older brother, and so she decides to use his turntables behind his back, teach herself how to DJ, and kind of like express herself through music and kick ass a little bit. Wow, that is really cool. A different, that's a different spin on some of the films we've heard. So, and you had multiple positions on this film. Yes, right? I was the writer, director, and the editor. That sounds kind of busy. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, and I was the producer and production designer. Awesome. So um, your inspiration for this film, I know that it's based on true events. So tell me a little bit about the inspiration and how you, how you guys got going with this. Sure. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's not based on true events, but it is based on an actual uh, musical scene okay. that was formed between the late 70s, early 80s by mm -hmm. these young Filipino Americans that um, were really kind of the hidden figures of hip hop. They, they developed a lot of techniques in turntablism and b-boying and wow. um, a lot of these things that people kind of attribute to um, urban black culture of New York, LA. Mm -hmm. um, and these young kids in Daly City were really uh, creating this, this big party atmosphere in their garages, churches, things like that. And it's kind of an unknown thing. And we've been making a feature doc about it um, for the past two and a half years. And, wow. Uh, really, the character of DJ Vandal in our film, who's the young 14-year-old girl, is really uh, an amalgamation of a lot of the strong female um, figures that we've met in our research and, and while interviewing for our doc. Cool. So that sounds like a really fun thing to watch. And so that goes right into our theme here at Bentonville Film Festival with the strong female roles. And um, what was it like getting into Bentonville Film Festival? How did you, how was the process of applying and getting in? And well, I've been hearing, hearing a lot of buzz about this festival. I mean, it's a three-year-old festival, but I've been hearing buzz for the last two years. That's great. And then um, I, I know that um, I know some of the programmers, and I knew what kind of films that they were looking for. And we made this film, and I was just like really crossing my fingers. I was like, "We made a new film. Would you be interested in watching it?" And they were interested in watching it, and and we were crossing our fingers. We got in, and we got in. So, it's everything that. I heard it was because I've never really been in an atmosphere where I'm in a table talking to like 10 female filmmakers. All of their movies are different and amazing and, and, and the stories are all like from different parts of the world and usually like you know film festivals are just like hodgepodge of men and women and everything but here it's just amazing to just have this amazing female empowerment and I've just been so inspired. Well, thank you so much. So there's a, definitely something that sets Bentonville Film Festival apart from other festivals you guys have, uh, film festivals you guys have been to then. Yes, I've been right. to a lot of film festivals and it's really the first time I felt really kind of um, nurtured, really, I mean, like as a woman, I, I don't know, I'm, I might be babbling, Jason. No, 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 no yeah. Right. So yeah, I've really, it's, I, and this is where I've been, I think, the most inspired. That is amazing and beautiful. And so have you guys already had your screening or is it coming up or? When yes, we, we had our screening on Wednesday. Wednesday? Um, I was just gonna add to that. It's, it's very much a family vibe here, like a family atmosphere. All the filmmakers that we've met have been really incredible people and um, very supportive. It is a, every film festival, there is a competition element to it. But mm -hmm. when you run into people who don't treat it like a competition, they just treat it like these can be our, our future collaborators. These can be people who I see myself being friends with in the yeah. future. Um, and the fact that it is like predominantly, uh, Bentonville specifically is, is predominantly uh, a festival that uh, looks to highlight diversity stories and female like empowerment and female stories. Um, it's been a wonderful experience. And I think that's what Marie was talking about. And, in terms yeah, of I'm it so being happy you guys experience. are having such a good experience here. And congratulations on your film getting selected. And I'm very happy for you being here. And I hope we see you again next year. Yeah, thank All you. All right, awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you so much.